This is the FM Gold Channel of All India Radio. In the program News Analysis, we now bring you a discussion on Government Regulation on Aadhaar. The participants are Dr. A.B. Pandey, Chief Executive Officer, Unique Identification Authority of India and Urmi Goswami, Journalist. The government has said that nobody can open a bank account without their Aadhaar number. That is mandatory, one of the prerequisites for opening a bank account. Those people who already have bank accounts will need to ensure that their bank account is linked to the Aadhaar number to use the technical word seeded the Aadhaar number by 31st December. Why are we linking everything to Aadhaar? What is the reason for this? There are primarily two reasons for this. One is that in the experiences have been that the bank accounts have been opened and whenever certain inquiry takes place, it is found that Many of such accounts are the persons are not available and the transactions have happened and then the person is not traceable. Because of this problem, various things happened. Of course, certain frauds, tax evasion, money laundering. And fourth, we have also come across many situations when a person is duped by some fraudsters and by the money is withdrawn from his bank account but it is going to some other bank account and when the complaint is lodged and then when it is during the inquiry if the trail of money is followed then it is found that the money went to a particular bank account and thereafter the money was withdrawn in cash and then the person is not traceable. Now what happens is that once you verify every account with Aadhaar number then what will happen is there will be always be a trace that you know money went from where to where to where. First of all, it will provide a lot of security in the transactions because we are living in a digital world and then the people are always concerned that you know what happens by somehow somebody knows my password, somebody knows my PIN and then the money will be withdrawn. Now, if you have a system where every bank account is linked to Aadhaar number and in a transaction of a certain limit, the PAN card is required. Now, the PAN card also has to be seeded with Aadhaar number. Then what will happen is that ultimately the transaction can be traced and ultimately who is the beneficiary of that transaction can be traced. And if he has indulged in some fraud, fraudulent activity, he can be brought to justice. So this is one part. Similarly, we have also seen that the bank accounts are used by many unscrupulous elements, those who want to evade tax, those who indulge in black money, those who indulge in money laundering. So verifying all such accounts with Aadhaar number will put a check on this. So these are the two major objectives. Other major objective is that in our country there are a large number of people who do not have any identity except now Aadhaar, because now Aadhaar has been given to 115 crore people. If you ask a people in a rural area, what identity you have? Now, today he will have only Aadhaar. So what we have done is that we have said that if he gives you Aadhaar, Aadhaar should be a sufficient proof of identity or sufficient KYC and his bank account can be opened and that bank account will be very, very secure bank account. It will not a bank account where, you know, you have to relax some KYC norms and then tomorrow if some problem happens, then you say that these problems have happened because of the KYC norms have been relaxed. So that way now the KYC norms have been adjusted to ensure inclusion that in our country, everyone who has an Aadhaar number, he should be able to open a bank account without any difficulty and without any need to produce any other document as such in most cases. Plus, it will put a check on misuse of bank accounts for black money, money laundering, tax evasion or for doing some fraudulent activity. And thirdly, it will improve the security of digital transactions because in the digital transaction, the money moves from one bank account to another. And if both accounts, the source and destination, are verified with Aadhaar, then the security of transaction definitely is much higher than what it was before. But how come the PAN doesn't serve this purpose? Because right now, or before this notification, it was the PAN was one of the key things that you had to produce for a bank account, let's say. But you're still maintaining the PAN. So how is it that the PAN was not serving the same purpose? And what purpose does the PAN number serve now? Our country, today we estimate that our population would be somewhere around 129 crores. Out of that 115 crore people have Aadhaar. If you see total number of PAN issued in the country is about only 29 crores. 
So does it mean if you only rely upon pan to do this, the deduplication, and then what will happen is that remaining 90 crore people or 100 crore people are not having pan. So how will they be able to open a bank account? So what is more inclusive here? Of course, Aadhaar is more inclusive. So that is the reason why Aadhaar had to be brought in in the KYC norms of opening a bank account or for having a financial transaction. But now, actually, it is not that Aadhaar is part of that bouquet. Aadhaar is the only one that matters. Because right now, it doesn't matter if I don't have any of the other identity norms. Yeah, most I must have the Aadhaar. So what the PMLA rules, the amendment that has happened is, what they are saying is that Aadhaar has become a primary EKYC. So you need to have Aadhaar and also the PAN card if you want to open a bank account. If you do not have a PAN card, then or if you are not entitled to obtain a PAN card, then you fill in a Form 60 because, you know, your income may be less than the income tax limit. So you need not take a PAN card, but you have an Aadhaar number. So you give Aadhaar number. Or if you are having some income which is not taxable, let's say agricultural income. So it's not taxable, so you have not taken a PAN card. So in such cases, you know, you have to give Aadhaar number. So Aadhaar has become the primary EKYC for opening any financial account, including bank account. And that is a much more inclusive than any other identity, including PAN card. It's not just bank account. There was a report a few days ago about the government saying that if you wanted to buy an air ticket, you will one will need an Aadhaar number. Do you see that as a necessary sort of next step or a simultaneous step? Such transactions also require linking with Aadhaar? So far as the UIDAI concern, which issues Aadhaar number, we have provided Aadhaar number to 115 crore people and we will like that everyone in the country should have Aadhaar number as early as possible and we will do everything possible to facilitate that. Now, we also provide the authentication facility, whether the Aadhaar number that the person is claiming, whether that Aadhaar number is genuine Aadhaar number and then that Aadhaar number belongs to him. So we provide authentication facility which will actually authenticate the Aadhaar number which is held by an individual. Now with these two facility on our platform, it is open for the other agencies of the government and also the private world that they can use this platform for any legitimate purpose and whether it is for opening a bank account or whether it is delivering some government benefits or subsidies like you know the PDS, Manrega or the scholarship or giving some other service like uh, air ticket or some other service. So the whole idea is that this is the platform which is available to people of India and government agencies as well as private agencies and if they want to use this facility for any legitimate purpose, they are welcome to use this. It's a bank account or it's a air ticket. It is not just people who are citizens of this country, but actually even people who are residing in this country, but citizens from other parts of the world. If they are going to say they're posted in India or they're traveling in India, they will need to, if you're posted, you'll require to open a bank account. If you're traveling, you need to buy an air ticket. How does UAID see addressing traveler or the sometime resident in India addressing, being able to function? Aadhaar Act clearly defines that who is entitled to obtain an Aadhaar number. Aadhaar is available to all residents of India. Aadhaar Act also defines who is resident and who is not a resident. Aadhaar Act says that anyone who has lived for more than 182 days during the last 365 days is a resident of India and he is entitled to obtain Aadhaar number. So all these stipulations that you know we talked about that Aadhaar mandatory for opening a bank account or Aadhaar for this service or that service it is applicable only to those who are entitled to obtain a Aadhaar number or those who is a resident of India. Now, supposing somebody is not a resident of India, then he is not entitled to obtain Aadhaar and then all these government rules or conditions of Aadhaar being mandatory for the services are not applicable for those who are not entitled to obtain Aadhaar number and therefore the non-residents who are not entitled to obtain Aadhaar number, they need not worry if they want to open a bank account, they can go out to the bank and say that, look, I have my passport and please look at my passport. I have not resided in India for the last 182 days during the last one year and therefore I am not entitled to open an Aadhaar number. Therefore, you should be able to open a bank account for me without an Aadhaar number and he will give you a necessary documentation and he will open a bank account for you without Aadhaar number. 
you know one of the other things that comes up in any conversation on the aadhar i want to go to an even more important issue that security as you mentioned earlier we live in the digital age cyber security is a big issue one of the many questions that arises is that what is the level of security that this data has because right now after this entire thing comes into proper implementation it would be possible for a person to get virtually every kind of information on any person who is a resident in india fitting those norms through that aadhar number so clearly there is a need to keep this information extremely secure and that question keeps arising so what can you say to actually assuage listeners about this question of security first of all i would like to assure the people that their data like their biometrics or whatever the data that they have given at the time of aadhar enrollment that is safe and secure with uid we take every possible measures to ensure that this data is not leaked is data is not misused and i would also like to mention here that during the last 6 and 1/2 years that we have been in existence there is not a single case of data breach or single case of identity theft so there is no leak no data breach from the uidi system now the media report that was a case where a government department or some state government they were collecting aadhar number from the various people their beneficiaries for example there is a pension scheme and then the government collects aadhar number and then the bank account and then the pensioner's name address and other details and then as per the requirements of the right to information act they were publishing the name aadhar number bank account number and other details on the website now this is what certain people mistook this as a leak from the media actually they were publishing this on their website in accordance with the requirements of the right to information act which came in 2005 now aadhar act came in 2016 and what aadhar act says that aadhar number should not be published in public so that the people should not be able to link your data from the various sources and get a 360 degree view of this so this needs to be discouraged so therefore aadhar act says that don't publish the full aadhar number it was not a case of data leak as such and uh, we told those departments saying that now the new aadhar act has come and then you should not be disclosing this full aadhar number if you have to disclose aadhar number then you mask some digits and only disclose the last four digits and that is what they have complied so there is no data leak as such right now the other question that you ask that if somebody gets the aadhar number and then can he get all information about you now again this is not possible because what aadhar act ensures and aadhar act prescribes that let's say your aadhar number has been collected by a service provider or a government department then that service provider or government department has to use it only for the purpose for which it has obtained and he cannot share this data with anyone else and if he does that then it amounts to a criminal offense which is punishable with 3 years imprisonment so therefore the different databases cannot be allowed to be mixed so that the person's full profile can be disclosed or can be known to others so these precautions have been taken care in the aadhar act itself the government has now said that you cannot open a bank account without aadhar it's actually a way of ensuring inclusion and and also security security as an agency you are saying that there is no cause for people to worry That's because correct. the information is secure and as you said 6 and 1/2 years no leaks and obviously your agency is keeping an eye to ensure that in voluntary proffering information in the process of meeting other sort of legal requirements are not done it's an interesting step but sometimes people have many doubts so thank you so much for clearing thank all you. these doubts you were listening to a discussion on government regulation on aadhar the participants were dr ab pande chief executive officer unique identification authority of india and Urmi Goswami journalist the program was produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio this program is also available on our website newsonair.nic.in you may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com